This is the Chemical Reactions Lab video. Sorry for the delay. I had to be able to do these with my garage open and without wind. So um, what you're going to see here are a series of videos and pictures that match in order to the lab that you have. So what we're going to look at first are the combination reactions. So we're going to see the results from the copper reaction first, then magnesium. So here you're looking at the picture from the copper wire experiment. Uh, I didn't record it, it's not very exciting. So on the right hand side you can see what the copper wire looked like before I put it in the flame. And on the left hand side you can see what the copper wire looked like after I put it in the flame. In fact I got it a little too hot and it melted. So here's what magnesium uh, looks like before I, you expose it to the flame. Um, by the way you can rewind, stop these videos whenever you need to. Um, here, what you see, I've ignited my very fancy Bunsen burner. It's actually a propane torch. Um, and what you're going to see me do is ignite that magnesium strip. This is not something that normally you can watch as far as the reaction goes because it burns so bright. It can actually damage your eyes. And what you're going to see in the next picture is the results from that experiment, what the material looks like after. So that little white strip there is magnesium after flame exposure. The next experiment set is the decomposition reactions. So first, copper carbonate. So we're going to see what copper carbonate looks like before you heat it. You can see it's that kind of blue-green color. Here what you're seeing, I've put it in a test tube, and you can see it's moving from that blue-green color, and it's starting to turn black. So I'm jiggling it around to get it mixed up. And in all of these experiments, I am wearing my safety gear. I've got on goggles and so forth. Um, you just can't see me I'm off camera. I wanted to focus on the uh, reactions. Um, so what you're going to see me do now, I'm going to bring in a wooden splint and light it and stick it down in the test tube. This is one of the observations you need to make. And then just after this video ends, uh, you're going to see what the copper carbonate looks like when I dumped it out of the test tube and back into that dish. So there it is after heating. So up next is our another decomposition reaction. This is the hydrogen peroxide decomposition reaction. You, what you see me doing right there is adding the yeast. I already had put the hydrogen peroxide soap and food coloring into my very fancy scientific equipment. That is one of my vases. And um, so what you're seeing now is the reaction. This uh, hydrogen peroxide that I'm using is the salon grade hydrogen peroxide, the 12%, but it is probably about two years old. So it's giving you a reaction similar to the 3% hydrogen peroxide that you would buy like at a grocery store. This is actually a safe reaction to do with kids. This is called elephant toothpaste, if you've ever heard of that. And so this is one that you can actually do. It's also an exothermic reaction, meaning that it gives off heat. So if you were to touch it, it actually would feel warm. So we'll finish up watching that. And then we'll move on to our next reaction, which is the single replacement reaction. So our single replacement reaction is with zinc and copper sulfate. So first we're going to take a look at the zinc. So there's what the zinc looks like before the reaction. And then the copper sulfate is a solution. So there's the copper sulfate solution. I put the zinc down in that. And then after several minutes, um, what you're seeing me do here is pour off that copper sulfate solution. And then I'm going to pour out the zinc pieces. So there are the zinc pieces. And then actually in the next picture you're going to see what those zinc pieces look like after they dried off a little bit in, in one of those dishes. Up next are the double replacement reactions. First we're going to look at lead nitrate and potassium iodide. So here are the solutions in their test tubes, potassium nitrate and then lead iodide. You can see it is different, that one's labeled. So here I'm going to add them together, take the two solutions, add one to the other. 
and you can see what occurs. And then up next, through the magic of a movie, you get to fast forward three minutes. So there's what happens after three minutes and there's the zoomed in picture after the three minutes. Now the zinc acetate sodium phosphate double placement replacement reaction. So there's the zinc acetate solution. There is the sodium phosphate solution. Same thing, we're gonna add those two solutions together and watch what happens. And then again, through the magic of movies, three minutes later, what that looks like. All right, that is the end of the chemical reactions. And like I said, you can rewind or um, stop these at any point.